Hey guys, it's Georgie with all the news. Well, some of the news. Gaz Beadle has revealed the very dedicated lengths he'll go to to help his girlfriend get the perfect selfie, which kind of undermines the entire premise of a selfie, but there we go. In a behind the scenes time lapse video, we see Gaz holding up a ring light over his girlfriend Emma while she lies on the bed to get that perfect, candid, hashtag woke up like this shot. Meanwhile, Emma's there shifting various bits and bobs around her head, including a dog at one stage, which Gaz then holds for the remainder of the video in quite an impressive balancing act. Look, you can scoff all you want at these uber extreme lengths, but don't pretend you don't have 67 identical shots of you candidly smizing into the distance, trying desperately to ignore the cramp in your calf you're getting from standing on your tiptoes so that your head is perfectly framed next to a plant. Our main question is, how long did it take to get the perfect video of Emma getting the perfect selfie? Stay tuned for next week's edition of Gotta Get That Shot. Four One Direction members are going up for the same award in what promises to be an even more awkward ceremony moment than when James Franco blocked Tommy Wiseau from speaking at the Golden Globes. Maybe even more awkward than the fact that Zayn was the only 1D member who didn't get a nomination. Instead, the other person going up for the award is the all-amazing, banger-churning Camille Cabello. Wait, what award is this again? Best artist to break out of a band formed on X Factor to go solo? Well, yeah, kind of. It's the iHeartRadio Award for Best Breakout Artist, and it's decided by public vote, which has left a lot of directioners very conflicted. Should they vote for a One Direction member, or a One Direction member, or a One Direction member, or a One Direction member. Look, guys, let me help you out. Obviously, you should vote for Camille Cabello. Not only do women deserve to win more awards in the entertainment industry, and since we're here, more nominations, but also Camille Cabello definitely has the best music out of them all, in my humble opinion. Have you heard Havana? Have you heard Never Be The Same? Have you heard Real Friends? And cue all the disgruntled directioners leaving me comments below about how wrong I am. Sorry. Not sorry. I just want people to stop worrying so much about the small, meaningless stresses in life and try to remember that we all have the same fate after it all. So do what you can to make your time feel worthy and great. Minus the <laughs> This is just some of the life advice from Holly Butcher, a 27 year old who recently passed away from cancer and whose final note has gone viral. In an open letter she wrote that her family posted to Facebook, she gives some pretty poignant advice that we'd all do well to remember. She wrote, You might have got caught in bad traffic today or had a bad sleep because your beautiful babies kept you awake or your hairdresser cut your hair too short, your new fake nails might have got a chip, your boobs are too small or you have cellulite on your ass and your belly is wobbling. Let all that go. She added, work and exercise may seem like such trivial things until your body doesn't allow you to do either of them. But also, the letter continues, remember there are more aspects to good health than the physical body. Work just as hard on finding your mental, emotional and spiritual happiness too. That way you might realise just how insignificant and unimportant having the stupidly portrayed perfect social media body really is. Finally, value people's time and give, give, give. Holly concluded by saying that blood donations gave her one more whole year to live. So on that note, go and read the full letter, try to stop worrying about the small stuff, sign up to donate some blood and have a great day. That's all from me guys, I'll see you next week.